Dear student, today topic is about introduction of proteins. Already you are very familiar with the term protein that this is the building block of our muscles. Okay, so let's study the protein now. So, proteins are polymers of amino acids. What is amino acid? See, if you find any compound like COOH, okay, NH2. H and here R, okay. Then this, if you find any compound is in this format, that compound is amino acid, okay. And each amino acid contain, contains a central carbon. See, this is the central carbon, okay. A hydrogen, see, here is a hydrogen. A carboxyl group, this is called carboxyl group. And amino group, this is called amino group. And a variable R group, this is R, right. See, sometimes R is H. Let me tell you, if R is H, okay, then it looks like this, like carbon, COOH, H and H, so CH2 and NH2, okay. Let me tell you, this compound is very, very important and famous. Why important and why famous? Okay, very important and famous because the reason is this is the smallest possible amino acid. This is the smallest possible amino acid, dear student. Okay, and the name of this compound is glycine. So, if they ask the question, in which of the following, okay, they, they may give you four options, in which of the following is the smallest possible amino acid? So, glycine is the smallest possible amino acid, okay. Okay, second important thing about the glycine is normally what happens, amino acids are optically active. Glycine is only the amino acid which is optically inactive, okay. That is why this glycine is very important example. Let us see some other points about proteins now. See, a simple amino acid, okay. This is the format what I gave here. A simple simple amino acid can be represented as this. Either you write this or you write R C H N H two C O H. Okay. All right. Let's see some other important points about proteins now. Glycine is the smallest amino acid as I told you. Okay. And let's see the next point about it here. So essential amino acids. What is essential amino acids? What happens? In our human body, okay, so our human body needs amino acid to get good growth, okay, to protect from the disease. We need amino acids. So, in which few amino acids are essential, few amino acids are non essential. Essential amino acids does not mean that it is important for us. And non-essential acid does not mean it is not important for us. No, it is not like that. What is the concept of essential and non-essential is such amino acid which cannot be formed in our body automatically. Okay, I mean our body cannot produce those amino acids and we should take from our external source in the form of diet that type of amino acid is considered as essential amino acids and few amino acids our body can produce. So, those amino acids are non-essential even though you do not take it as a supplement in the form of food, no problem our body can prepare that amino acid automatically. But few amino acids are very important but our body cannot prepare. So, we have to take it in the form of a supplement or a diet. And those amino acids, we keep it under the category of essential amino acids. So, they cannot be, you can study here, you can see the amino acids that cannot be made in our body and must be supplied from outside in the form of diet. Now, examples are like histidine, isoleucine, uh, leucine, lysine, methionine. So, these are the important essential amino acids our body demands as a form of diet, as a supplement. Let us see what is non-essential amino acid now. 
okay non essential amino acid means our bodies will produce these amino acid okay even if we don't get it from the food we eat from the supplement from the diet and their examples are here alanine arginine asparagine aspartic acid okay glutamic acid so these are the non essential amino acids dear student there are so many amino acids which are essential and conditionally non essential what i am saying let's see in the next point now there are several non essential amino acids non essential means what our body can prepare automatically no need to take as a supplement as a diet they are non essential but sometime what happens non essential converts into essential amino acid it means we need that is acid now why how let's see other point now these are considered to be essential only under specific circumstances such as illness or stress but what happened for example although rg9 okay rg9 you can see here it is considered as non essential because our body can't meet or demands when fighting certain disease like cancer so dear student i hope you understood the concept of amino acids proteins and essential non essential conditionally essential amino acids thank you for watching